All right, guys, today I am bringing you an epic video. We are going to make cream of spinach with chicken. Yes, we're using chicken breast. We're using fresh spinach. We're going to be using Philadelphia cream cheese, cheddar cheese, you name it. We're going to put everything in it and the kitchen sink. I hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. But let's get started on this video. All right, so first we're going to start out with how we make the cream of spinach. We're going to start out with one stick of butter. It's whether it's salted or unsalted. All depends on the flavor you want. I have uh, salted butter here. To that, I'm going to be using one quart of light cream. We're going to put the whole thing right in there. And now to that, we're going to put one eight ounce brick of Philadelphia cream cheese right in there. Break it up a little bit. We're going to add one, a, one pound of fresh green spinach. I like the fresh versus the can. The cans just have too much water. I like the fresh better. All right, now to that, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt. Like I said, I already have salt in the butter, so you don't need a whole lot of salt. And then I'm going to put about a teaspoon of pepper in there. And don't worry, guys. I will leave the directions on how to make this in the description below. And it will be a step-by-step. -step. You can follow along. And any parts that you're missing, any ingredients you're missing, or any of the... Uh, tools you're missing you can always check them out on my Amazon as well I'll leave a link for my Amazon page in the description along with all the tools that we we're using here today all right we're just gonna let this get all nice and happy happy this spinach will start to soften up and melt right down now you want to keep it on low heat you don't want to get it too hot because you don't want that light cream to burn. This is so good, and I'll tell you, you don't have to use all this cream of spinach. You won't have to use it all when you make the casserole. You can put some aside and have it for a nice little lunch snack. Cream of spinach is delicious. goes good with everything. Let that sit, just like that. I'm going to put a lid on it. Be right back. Alrighty, guys. We've got this cooking a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add the last ingredient. And you all know what this last ingredient is. Add some cheddar cheese to it. I'm going to put, mix that through. Now, Mom already had a uh, <clears throat> taste test. Make sure that the it was to her liking. But it's getting nice and creamy now. It's starting to thicken up. Just what we want. This is going to be good. Ood. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> mom back there. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shut the heat right off and just let it get happy, happy. Okay, guys. Now that the cream of spinach is almost done, there, we're gonna go ahead and get out the chicken. Today we are going to be using boneless, skinless chicken breast. What I'm gonna do first is I'm just going to clean them up a little bit, get rid of some of that fat on there. All right, and what we're going to do is, with a good sharp knife, we're just going to fillet these open. What you do is, I'm going to start by the thin piece, thin end here, and you're just going to run your knife right around, just like that. Don't come all the way through. And there you go. That's filleted. Okay, now that we got these all filleted, we're going to go ahead... We're going to get these in a hot skillet with a little bit of avocado oil. And we're just going to give them a little bit of color and a little bit of seasoning. Got the skillet on medium low. We're going to put a little bit of avocado oil in there. About maybe two tablespoons. The seasoning is up. All we're going to do is hit them with a little bit of salt. Hit them with a little bit of pepper. And that's it. Watch 
slide it on this side, hit them again. They don't have to cook very long on here. I'm gonna tell you at this point, what I just did, my oven just went off. I just preheated my oven to 350 degrees. All right, we don't have to let these cook long. Maybe about like about two minutes each one. And you're just looking for a little bit of color like that. Just like that, just a little bit of color. All right, we'll get these off. We'll get the next. We'll get the next three done, and then I'll show you how we put this all together. Okay, guys, we are at the final step of this process, and it looks fantastic. Smells fantastic. We're going to go ahead and lay these chicken breasts right in, just like that. With that cream of spinach. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, now you got the chicken all laid in there. There's that cream of spinach. What I do is just get a uh, spoon or a ladle, and we're just going to pour it right over top. You can pour as little or as much as you want. You can use the whole thing if you want to. It is one epic dinner, guys. You can make this. If you're trying to get your kids to eat more vegetables, this is a fantastic way to get your kids to eat more vegetables. It's a lot of fun to make. It's delicious. It's wholesome. It, it's everything you want. It's got the vegetables in there from the spinach. And your kids are going to love it. But we're going to go top this off with some cheddar cheese. Put it right on there just like that. Now we got, like I said, we preheated our oven to 350 degrees. They got that extra cheese in there. I'm going to make it really nice and cheesy. I love that. My goodness, guys. Well, hey, do me a favor. If you like this so far, give me a like. If you enjoyed this video so far, please give me a like. Really appreciate it. It really helps me out. It helps me and it helps my channel. But we're gonna go ahead and get this in the oven now. We're gonna get we're gonna get the chicken uh, completely cooked, 165 or better. Get a nice little crust on the cheese. And when we come back, we'll show you what it looks like and we'll get it plated up. Guys, uh Look at that. Bubbling, cheesy goodness. Mmm. That looks really good. I almost tipped it right over. Alright. Oh, this smells so good. Get some of that spinach. It, it, I, I think it just came out fabulous. We're going to get a taste test here in a minute. Yeah, it's going to be hot. Absolutely. All right, guys. Let's get a taste test on this. See how we did here. Mmm. That is really good. That cream of spinach with that cream cheese. Nice and creamy. Everything just fantastic. But, uh, guys, I'm going to leave you at this. They like said I'm going to leave the description. Or excuse me. I'm going to leave the recipe in the description below. Do me a favor. Like. Subscribe. And share this with your friends. But do this recipe. Like I said. If you're trying to get your kids to eat more vegetables. That's the way to do it. That's the proper way to do it. Alright guys. Till next time. God bless and happy eats.